everybody! Welcome to my California kitchen. I'm Carmel Mooney and I'd like to share with you my sweet curry rice pilaf. Now, if you don't mind, let me give you a little short primer on curry because I'm very blessed that my husband and my kids like to try almost anything that I whip up, but I have to admit, my husband's a little bit reluctant to try certain curry dishes. So the key to making the right kind of curry dish is using the right kind of curry. And curries don't have to all be hot and spicy. So you have to think outside the box a little bit. Now this is garam masala Punjabi style curry, and this is not the kind of curry that we're going to use in this recipe. This is more like what you typically find in most East Indian restaurants. And then there's hot madras curry, and again, this is not the kind of curry we're going to use either. This is very, very spicy. And then there's just plain standard curry powder that you get in most grocery stores. And again, that's not exactly what we're going to use today. What I'm going to use today is sweet curry powder. There's basically no heat at all. It's just wonderful, full, deep flavor. So that's what the real secret is to this special sweet curry rice pilaf, and I think you're going to love it. Now right behind me on the stove, I'm heating a few tablespoons of olive oil, and we're going to saute a cup of chopped onion in there in just a moment. But while that's getting ready, I'm soaking a cup of the basmati rice, which is that Indian rice, in some water right now to kind of soften it. And that helps with uh, the elongation of the grain when you cook the rice, if you just soak it previously for a few minutes. So I'm just going to soak it while we get started on these onions. First we're going to saute some onions, one cup of chopped onions, and a little bit of olive oil. And once those onions get to be a little translucent after about a minute, we're going to add a cup of chopped red bell pepper. Alright, it's time to add one cup of chopped bell pepper now. There, it looks like our onion and bell pepper is just about perfect. Now I've just added a half a teaspoon of ground mustard. Now I'm adding a tablespoon of brown sugar. Now I'm adding a tablespoon of that sweet curry powder that I told you about. Oh, that aroma is wonderful. Our next spice is a half a teaspoon of cinnamon. And I used Vietnamese cinnamon, so I really like the full body flavor, but you can use any type of cinnamon that you like. Now I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of ground cumin seed. Now I'm going to add that one cup of basmati rice that was sitting in that water soaking for a little while. And I've obviously drained it in this little colander. I'm going to add that in and just kind of stir it around for one or two minutes. Now I'm adding in a cup of pine nuts, and I'm going to stir those around for just a moment or two before I add my next ingredient, because that way it'll kind of toast those pine nuts and give them a really wonderful, deep, aromatic flavor, and they're going to look so pretty all golden brown. Now I'm going to add one and three quarters cup of chicken stock. Now that I've added those pine nuts and that chicken stock, I'm going to bring it to a boil and then I'm going to reduce the heat and simmer it slowly. Now that that's simmering nicely, I'm going to take some saffron and of course saffron we just use a little tiny pinch. And I'm going to take a little pinch here of the saffron and just sprinkle it all around in the pot there. And you don't need a lot. Saffron a little bit goes a long way and it makes a wonderful flavor. 
Now I'm gonna add eight ounces of Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese. And I've softened that cream cheese up for about 20 seconds in the microwave before I've added it here. And this is going to melt in and just make it so rich and creamy and delicious. Now I'm going to be patient here as I stir this cream cheese in and just let it slowly melt while it mingles with all those beautiful spices and just brings that curry alive. So I'm just stirring this slowly while the cream cheese melts and just blends beautifully with all that wonderful spice and curry, saffron. And this is on low heat now. So we're just going to be patient while these wonderful flavors blend. Okay, so I'm going to put the cover on this and let it simmer for about 20 minutes. The flavors and the aroma with that toasted pine nut combination and the curry, and it's not spicy. It's just got this wonderful full body flavor. It's just amazing. Now I'm going to garnish this with a little bit of mint because mint goes really nicely with Indian dishes. So there it is with a little fresh mint from my garden. And oh, the aroma is, it's amazing. You're gonna love this, even if you don't like Indian food and you're not crazy about curry, because there's no spiciness or heat to it. It's just a warm, earthy flavor from all those nuts and that sweet curry and cinnamon. Oh, the aroma is just awesome. You're gonna love it. Mm. This side dish is amazing. Mm. Mm. That sweet, deep flavor and those toasted nuts. Mm. Thank you, Kraft Philadelphia cream cheese. You know, I'm a travel writer and I travel all over the world and I can honestly say there's nowhere on earth I'd rather be this summer than in Savannah cooking for you my sweet curry rice pilaf. So I sure hope to see you, Paula, and all you real women of Philadelphia out there this summer. So just remember until next time, do everything in good taste.